Welcome to the Science Asylum. I am Nick Lucid. In the last video, we laid out some context using the double slit experiment. Quantum is already complicated. There's no reason to further complicate it with abstractions. But what does it all mean? First of all, everyone agrees with the math. It's kind of hard to argue with because it works. The problem is it's probability and statistics, a type of math only applied when the situation is too complicated to apply any other. Sagar Sharma was wondering about interpretations. This is really where the science is. And frankly, a lot a lot of people have put in their two cents. Let's see how deep the rabbit hole goes. This is the top three interpretations of quantum physics, or at least the best three guesses by our brightest minds. The ensemble interpretation. The math doesn't apply to individual particles, only an ensemble or collection of them. In the double slit experiment, each electron has a 50-50 chance of going through either slit. You can't know which it'll go through in advance, but you do know if you send a thousand electrons, about 500 of them will go through each. Some scientists think that's all quantum physics can actually tell us, and we shouldn't pretend to detect what's really happening. Wow, that kind of makes sense. Yeah, but it kind of devalues quantum theory. It also doesn't really explain what happens when you detect which slit the electrons go through. So most physicists have rejected it. Moving on! The many worlds interpretation. Quantum physics doesn't apply to a single universe, but a multiverse. Each universe has a copy of each particle, and you simply don't know which universe you're in until you take a measurement. Let's say you send one electron at the double slit. You may not know which slit it goes through, but half the universe is sent it through the left, and the other half sent it through the right. If you don't detect which slit it passes through, then it interferes with the particles in the other universes and behaves like a wave. If you do detect which slit it passes through, then it somehow breaks contact with its multiverse copies and behaves like a particle. That's so cool! Yeah, and it definitely addresses the results of the experiment. Unfortunately, we have no way of verifying that other universes exist. Until we do, there's no reason to add another level of complexity to existence. It's complicated enough! The Copenhagen interpretation. Quantum physics does apply to individual particles, but the wave describing the particle changes when a measurement is made. First of all, this one is subtle, so it took decades to develop with little suggestions from lots of people. That's why it's the only interpretation named after a place. Copenhagen, Denmark, the place where it all started in the 1920s. There also isn't a clear consensus on everything it's supposed to say, so I'll stick to the stuff that most physicists agree on. There is always a wave that describes everything about a particle. Some of those things are certain, others are uncertain. It is impossible for everything about a particle to be certain. If you measure a certain property, then you get exactly what you expect. If you measure an uncertain property, then you'll get something random, but you still get something. That last point is called wave function collapse, but it's a bit misleading. The particle doesn't actually stop behaving like a wave. It's just that the wave used to look like this, but now it looks like this. You changed it by taking the measurement. So wait, you're telling me that my knowledge of the situation is changing the situation? Well, uh, uh no. The word measurement is kind of terrible here. In our double slit experiment, it was done using another particle, a photon. Any interactions between particles that determine something about one or both of those particles can be considered a measurement. No, no, just no, no. Oh, come on, don't give up now. This is the one that physicists support the most. Who knows? Maybe there's something deeper we just don't know yet. I bet they want to know your personal opinion. Well, they're just going to have to wait till the next video for that. So which interpretation do you like the best? Let us know in the comments. And until next time, remember, it's okay to be a little crazy.